So apparently AI is designing new physics. Let's get into all the details. So a team at Emory University was studying something called dusty plasma. Now, before your eyes glaze over, let me explain what this stuff is, because it's actually everywhere around us and it's way cooler than it sounds. Plasma is basically the fourth state of matter, and it makes up almost the entire visible universe. We are talking about stars, solar winds, lightning bolts, and even the northern lights. It's this wild mix of charged particles flying around freely. But dusty plasma is even more interesting because it adds tiny charged dust particles into this chaotic mix. You know when astronauts walk on the moon and their suits get covered in dust? That's dusty plasma in action. The moon's weak gravity lets these charged dust particles just float above the surface. And here on Earth, when wildfires create those massive smoke clouds, they're actually generating dusty plasma when the suit gets charged up and mixes with the smoke. And this stuff can mess with radio signals, which is why firefighters sometimes lose communication during big blazes. But here's where it gets wild. I know that was a bit of a backstory, but for decades, scientists thought they understood how these dusty plasmas work. They had these established theories about how particles interact with each other, how big particles carry more charge in direct proportion to their size, how forces between particles behave, all the fundamental rules that govern weird states of matter. And then these researchers at Emory decided to train an AI system on three-dimensional data from dusty plasma experiments. And what the AI discovered completely blew up some of our most basic assumptions about physics. The AI found something called non-reciprocal forces, which is this mind-bending concept where the force that a particle exerts on particle B is completely different from the force that particle B exerts back on particle A. It's like if you push someone and they push back with a totally different amount of force. Even though, physics actually tells us that forces should be equal and opposite. The researchers use this analogy that I think is perfect. Imagine two boats moving across a lake, each creating their own wake patterns. The wake from one boat might attract the other boat, but the wake from the second boat might actually repel the first one. Depending on where they are relative to each other in the dusty plasma, they found that a leading particle attracts a trailing particle, but the trailing particle always repel the leading one. But that's not even the craziest part. The AI also discovered some of our long-standing theories about dusty plasma were just flat out wrong. For instance, scientists had believed for years that the bigger particles carry more electrical charge in exact proportion to their size. The AI proved that that's not true. The relationship depends on the density and temperature of the plasma, not just the particle size. What's absolutely incredible is that this AI system described these forces with more than 90% accuracy. It's providing the most detailed description of dusty plasma physics that humans have ever had. And the kicker is that the AI isn't a black box. The researchers actually understand how and why it works, which means they can apply this same approach to other complex systems. This genuinely represents something we've never seen before in science. AI isn't just processing data or optimizing experiments. It's actually discovering new physical laws that govern how our universe works. Now, if that dusty plasma story didn't blow your mind enough, wait until you hear what AI is doing with gravitational wave detection. This new story is so wild that even the scientists working on this don't even understand what the AI has created. So let me paint you guys a picture of just how insane gravital wave detection is in the first place. We're talking about the LIGO detectors, which are these massive L-shaped facilities with arms that stretch for four kilometers each. When gravitational waves pass through Earth, these ripples in space-time itself caused by things like colliding black holes, and they change the length of these arms by less than the width of a proton. Let me just put that in perspective of you. If you wanted to measure the distance to the nearest star, Alpha Centauri, and you wanted that measurement to be accurate within the width of a human hair, that's the level of precision we're talking about with LIGO. It's mind boggling that humans have even figured out how to build something this sensitive. Now, LIGO took two decades to build and design, and it only detected the first gravitational wave back in 2015. And since then, it opened up this entirely new window into that universe letting us observe cosmic events that we could never see 
with a traditional telescope. Here's where things get really interesting. A team at the Max Planck Institute decided to see if an AI could improve upon those human design detectors. They created an AI system called Urania and fed it data about all the possible components and configurations that could make up a gravitational wave interferometer. And what Urania came up with left the scientists completely stunned. The AI designed detectors with these bizarre unconventional layouts that made absolutely no sense to human physicists. One design featured this extra loop of light that seemed totally random and pointless. But here's the thing, when the researchers dug deeper and actually analyzed what this weird design was doing, they realized that the AI had independently discovered and applied a noise reduction concept that physicists had only discussed in theory. This strange extra loop was actually implementing an advanced technique that could increase LIGO sensitivity by 10 to 15%. Now, that might not sound like an insane improvement, but in gravitational wave astronomy, even tiny increases in sensitivity are game changing. We are talking about potentially expanding the observable volume of the universe by up to 50 times. That means we could detect gravitational waves from events that are happening billions of light years away. Now, I was surprised to find out that Urania didn't just create one weird design. It produced dozens of new experimental configurations, many of which outperformed even the best concepts that human scientists have proposed for next generation detectors. And some of these AI design detectors could improve sensitivity by more than 10 times compared to current technology. Now, what's really fascinating is that while some of Urania's designs revealed known physics principles when analyzed, others suggested completely new applications that scientists still don't fully understand. The researchers literally published their findings with titles like scientists don't yet fully understand these new intriguing gravitational wave detectors designed by AI. And AI has essentially become a creative partner in experimental physics coming up with ideas so unconventional that human experts are genuinely surprised by them. And the best part is that they made all of the designs completely available in something they call a detector zoo. So researchers around the world can study and potentially build these AI invented instruments. Now, what is happening here goes way beyond these two examples. We are witnessing something that has never existed before in the history of science. AI systems that don't just assist human researchers, but actually act as creative collaborators in the scientific process. I came across this article that really drove the point home. A physicist named Carl Cranmer at the University of Wisconsin described the current state of AI in physics like teaching a child how to speak. Right now, these systems require a lot of babysitting and human interpretation, but they're already spotting patterns in data that humans are completely missing. For example, Cranmer's team used machine learning to analyze astronomical data and predict how dark matter clumps together in the universe. The AI came up with mathematical formula that describes dark matter density better than anything humans had created. And this isn't just number crunching. The AI is literally discovering new ways to understand one of the biggest mysteries in cosmology. And this is happening across all areas of physics. At places like LIGO, researchers are using AI to find environmental patterns that affect detector sensitivity. Now, these systems can process data from over 100,000 centers simultaneously, identifying correlations between things like earthquakes, ocean waves, and even wind patterns with the quality of gravitational wave measurements. Now, What's really interesting is how AI is changing the entire approach to experimental design. Traditionally, scientists would spend months or years carefully planning experiments based on their theoretical understanding. But now, AI can explore vast spaces of possible experimental configurations in hours or days, finding solutions that human intuition would have never considered. And I've also discovered that there's this physicist named Mario Kren who's developed AI algorithms specifically to guide researchers towards new ideas in physics. When he was struggling to design an experiment to observe a specific type of quantum entanglement, he turned to his AI system called Melvin. The AI was trained on all known quantum experiments and could mix and match different approaches to solve new problems. Melvin found a solution in just a few hours that Kren and his team hadn't been able to figure out for weeks. Using the AI's framework, they had built the experimental setup and observed the quantum phenomenon for the first time ever. But here's what I find most fascinating about all of this. These AI systems aren't just blindly processing data. 
that are engaging with the fundamental creative challenges of scientific discovery. They're proposing hypotheses, designing experiments, and even correcting long-held theoretical assumptions. The dusty plasma research I mentioned earlier is a perfect example. The AI didn't just analyze existing data, it revealed that some of our basic theoretical assumptions about plasma physics were incorrect. It's essentially rewriting textbooks, and this trend is accelerating rapidly. Just in the past couple of years, we've seen AI systems discover new materials, optimize chemical reactions, predict protein structures, and now design entirely new types of physics experiments. The Royal Swedish Academy even awarded the 2024 Nobel Prize in physics, partly in recognition of how deeply AI and physics are now intertwined. So where is all of this heading? And I think what we are seeing now is probably just the beginning of something much bigger. So I was reading this report called the AI for Science 2025, and it really puts things into perspective. It describes what they call a fundamental paradigm shift for how scientific discovery works. For centuries, scientists followed this pattern, observed something in nature, form hypotheses about why it happens, and design experiments to test that hypothesis, and then either confirm or reject your theory. But AI is flipping this entire process on its head. Instead of starting with human hypotheses, AI can automatically discover hidden patterns in massive datasets without any preconceived notions about what it might find. It's like having a scientist that can process information without the cognitive biases that affect, you know, human thinking. And this genuinely has people excited and a little bit freaked out because it kind of raises some profound questions about the future of human scientists. If AI can discover new physics, design better experiments, and even correct our own theoretical assumptions, what will there be left for humans to do? But I personally believe that the answer is a little bit more optimistic than scary. What we're seeing is not AI replacing human scientists, it's becoming an incredible tool that amplifies human creativity and insight. The dusty plasma researchers still need to interpret what the AI found and understand its physical meaning. The LIGO team still needs to build and test these weird AI design detectors. And what's really exciting is that this could accelerate scientific discovery in ways we've never seen before. Some research are already talking about using LLMs like ChatGPT to automate and redefine and refine the entire process of scientific hypotheses. Imagine an AI that can read every physics paper ever published, identify gaps in our understanding, and suggest specific experiments to fill those gaps. We might actually be on what people are calling the golden age of discovery. AI could help us tackle some of the biggest unsolved problems in physics, things like dark matter, dark energy, quantum gravity, and the unification of general relativity with quantum mechanics. Like when it's not just like the computer understands us and gets to know us and helps us and do these things, but we can say like, hey computer, like discover all of physics. And it can go off and do that. Um, what does it mean when we can say like, hey, start and run a great company, it can go off and do that. So. I also came across this really interesting point about how AI might help us find completely unexpected phenomena. Throughout the history of astronomy, every time we've developed instruments that can observe new wavelengths of light, we've discovered entirely new types of objects that nobody predicted. And the researchers working on AI-designed gravitational wave detectors are hoping for the same thing, that their more sensitive instruments might detect cosmic events that we never even imagined. And there is this deeper philosophical question about what it means for machines to discover new physics. Are these AI systems actually understanding the physical world, or are they just very sophisticated pattern matching machines? Right now, most experts would probably say that it's the latter. These systems are incredibly good at finding patterns and making predictions, but they don't have genuine understanding in the way that humans do. They can't explain the intuitive why behind their discoveries or place them in the broader context of human knowledge about the universe, but that might be changing faster than we think.